You're listening to the Metal Experience. Only on Slam Internet Radio. That's right. We just heard Havoc scumbag in the scumbag in disguise in this moment. The Gun Show and Grave Blood Path. Yeah. Woo! Woo! All right. That's all I got. <laughs> <laughs> we are sitting here with Tony once again from Anmas. Long time no see. Been a few months. Sure has. And how have you been? You guys went on tour. Yeah, we uh, did a nice little Midwest tour here back in April to May. Uh, I hit up uh, Fort Wayne, Akron, Ohio, Louisville, Kentucky, or Louisville, as they like <laughs> to pronounce it. Yeah, don't say Louisville down there, man. They'll shoot you. Jesus. Jeez. <laughs> mm-hmm. But anyways, uh, we went from there to uh, Columbia, Missouri, to Kansas City, Missouri. And then Peoria, and then we were home. Nice. What was your favorite show that happened on that tour? Oh, uh, well, Kansas any, City. Any crazy stories? Kansas City was awesome. Uh, a lot of great bands out there. Uh, Akron, Ohio was always a, a blast. Uh, actually, that's where we met Madness on the Mountaintop and Hammer Fight, who were on uh, the show here coming up October 20th. Uh, uh, ugh, sorry. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> yeah, David Burgess from uh, Madness on the Mountaintop always does his Akron Death Fest every year. And he's had us on the last couple. And I put together this one. I hit him up. We say, hey, you guys want to come out and do this? Put us on. He's like, hell yeah. So here we are. Nice. <laughs> so tell us a little bit uh, about the show that's happening actually this Saturday, how you put it together, who's on it. Well, I started planning it. I've been always wanting to do like a Halloween thrash death fest. I mean, always been wanting to. So uh, I started planning it uh, about a year ago. I had uh, mine some bigger bands, uh, but uh, some booking promoter, booking agents weren't too uh, happy. So or whatever, they didn't want to deal with me or anything. I don't know what it was, but anyways. Uh, so I still went around. Before I knew it, uh, I, the whole band was booked and. I didn't even realize how many people were going at first. And I was like, all right, there's 13. Here it is. I got Rain Inferno. I talked to Jimmy. I was like, hey, you guys want to do it? He's like, yeah, if I'm not on tour with Jungle Rot, I'm there. You know, we, we can do it. Necrogression, they were down. Uh, I played a bunch of shows with Tony. He's a great dude. The band is killer. Uh, and I hit up Hammer Fight because those guys were awesome out in Akron. That if you like uh, thrashy Motorhead, then uh, <laughs> nice. you're going to really dig these guys, man. They put on one hell of a... One hell of a set. So, uh, but it just went down the line. Uh, the Everscape, uh, I've, we've done the shows with them before. I put them on shows at the End Zone in Aurora where I promote and book. Uh, the Viscatorium, we've done a bunch of stuff with them. They're an amazing band and an amazing people. All of them are cool dudes. Mm-hmm. I mean, uh, very down to earth. Oh, and Emma and yeah. Chick. <laughs> and Chick. <laughs> All of One them. of the few that's in this scene. Oh, yeah. And she, she is the most brutal vocalist out there right now. Yes, I think, she so. is. So, I mean, <laughs> it's great. But yeah, they played uh, our fundraiser show for when we, before we went on tour to raise money uh, that we did in my basement and uh, for free. So, I wanted to definitely return the favor. They were actually the first band to uh, confirm. With me to get nice. on it, so that's why they got a nice spot right there in the middle. Uh, Mass Mutilation, uh, I've been uh, jamming with those guys uh, uh, at shows together for a long time now, since I was in a couple other bands. So I've always liked them. They're just like me. Love to party, love to drink and smoke. <laughs> and let's play some metal and have a good time. And then on Moss, those guys are cool, except for the bass player. He's an <laughs> asshole. <laughs> but yeah, uh, Burial Ritual. They're from Wisconsin. We've done a lot of shows with them. Uh, on Moss has played a couple. Uh, earlier bands that I was in, Life in Shadow, we've played a bunch with them. They're a bunch of killer dudes, and same down to earth. Mark's put us on from Altered. Uh, mm-hmm. Peoria, he's the one who helped out with our last show at the end of the tour. So I definitely wanted to throw him a bone. And uh, They Die Screaming was a last-minute uh, adjustment to it. They weren't really on the bill because Jerry didn't want to check his emails on time. <laughs> <laughs> but it's cool. It's cool, man, because uh, a couple bands weren't able to do it. So uh, I hit Jerry up, and he's like, for sure, he jumped right on it. And then uh, Panzer, I mean, I know you guys know those guys. Yeah. So they're a great band, and I really wanted to try to keep uh, 
keep a good variety from death metal to thrash and even a different kind of like thrash death and a little hardcore with it or whatever. And uh, just so it's not the same thing all night. It's definitely a large age range there. Yeah, you know, and I mean... Old and new and... Exactly. And I mean, that's exactly what we really wanted to do. I really wanted to make it an all ages show, but it just wasn't physically possible. So what year. is... This is 21 plus. Okay, so this is this is a 21 plus show that doors open at 2.30 and it starts at 3 p.m. Yes, and it doesn't end until 2 a.m. And a lot of Jeez. people should so. be drunk after 11 hours. Oh, shoot. Uh, yeah, <laughs> it's going to be a drunken metal day. Right. <laughs> so I hope you bring your drinking shoes with. So it says on the flyer that there's raffles for tattoos and shows. Yes, I got. Uh, we got six hundred dollars in raffles for tattoos. Oh my uh, God! I want to win. Don's, from Don's Downtown Inc. in Aurora, uh, they're a bunch of great dudes. They do all my artwork. Uh, the owner Don's been doing my back piece for a while now, and uh, he got, does. They do all amazing work. They're a bunch of metalheads there, and they love doing a bunch of good tattoos. Uh, I got tickets for Dia's side to uh, raffle off. Uh, Mass Mutilation is direct support for them. So uh, I'd like to help support the local guy. You know, So I bought my tickets from them, and we're going to raffle them off, try to get some more people there. I will be at that show, too. So Don't blame you. <laughs> hey <laughs> Yeah, I mean, you can't. Dia's side and the Mass Mutilation, wait till you hear the song I got for you from them. They're, uh, they're a treat. Nice. So. <laughs> But yeah, uh, and then uh, a lot of the sponsors have got stuff. We got an uh, autograph book by Dave Mustang that we're going to raffle off. Uh, we got uh, a couple How'd of How'd you get things. that? Uh, Tim Anders uh, from Pitch Black. He's nice. got some stuff. Uh, we're going to be from the Offering uh, webzine and all that. They're going to be raffling off a couple of their, uh, their magazines. And I know they got another issue coming out here in November So for their second issue. Which I don't know if you guys got the first one yet, but it was a really good one. No, we oh, haven't yeah. gotten yeah, check anything. It out. Well, get them from there. I know they'll have some there. So. I keep contacting this girl, <laughs> Kathy, about the offering going, I know you work there. You can't well, avoid my emails. Also, Come on. <laughs> we'll talk to Yvonne. She, Yvonne Nevis. Uh, she's also with Last Divas Promotions, uh, who are also promoters on this. Um, she's also a part of the offering. Also, Lauren helps out with that, too. From yeah, Panzer. I should be a- Asking Lauren to, yeah. I'm coming after you guys. I mean, You're gonna the, give me an issue. The, the circles <laughs> run really tight here in Chicago, and let you really notice. A lot of bands know each other, and you yeah, know, and, 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 and it's, it's a small great. world after all. Oh, it really is. I mean, especially when you come to a to a genre that is kind of really more close knit. I mean, we're uh, we're kind of outsiders, especially now when you got a lot of rap and hip hop, and uh, the dubstep scene is taken over control and everything, and. Uh, I mean, so we got to stick together. We, we want to see the Chicago scene thrive, and, you know, that's what we all want to do. And a lot of people who do know me out there know I, if I can make it to a show, I'm there. Yeah. So. <laughs> uh, what about costume contest? Like, what are you judging this on? I know I'm going to try to be the most brutal person <laughs> there this year, but uh, I might end up in the most funniest, obnoxious category there is. Mostly I, what we're going to probably just do is just to have crowd reaction. Oh, jeez, basing yeah, so it by gonna sound. Go I'm going to get crickets. I mean, it's it's whatever. We thought a lot of different th- ways. Uh, we thought maybe do a, uh, you had an earlier submit in and, uh, and you'd be on a list and people voted, but we're like, that's a lot of work and people are going to be too drunk to deal with all that. So <laughs> we figured crowd response would probably be the best. Nice. <laughs> I mean, the more drunken people out there, the Screaming. Better. Yeah, you know. <laughs> That's a great way to judge it. And you win these raffle contests? Yeah, we, we'll raffle off a bunch of different things along with it. Uh, like, whatever is in the raffle, you can also win in the costume, in the costume. contest. Well, so. guys, I'm going after it, so <laughs> vote for me. Yeah, I mean, we'll also <laughs> raffle off a couple of the T-shirts I got made for the show. Yes, let's talk a little bit about these awesome T-shirts, yes. by the way, which has every band and every sponsor. Hey, one of them are us. Second yes. shirt. Woo! There you um, go. Who made these? Who created the design? And how much will they be at the show? Well, Al, uh, the Chicago VP for the uh, the NYDM uh, chapter that we're in here, he uh, designed the front part of it, uh, which is our logo for the Chicago chapter. Um, the back was just pretty much I designed everything uh, through OOShirts.com. Uh, I put all the logos back there, did all the lettering, and uh, and then I paid for everything to get it printed out. Oh, jeez. You know, so... Yeah, uh, they will be 20 bucks each, and yeah. So. Nice. So definitely get those if you go to the show, because yeah. this is uh, 
it helps uh, pay the overhead that I have for like, because the band's from out of town. I guarantee the money, and I want to make sure I give them their money. I guarantee. Oh, of course. And uh, and just with everything else, because I did have the ad in the Entertainer for September and October. So, but yeah, and that costs money. <laughs> it does. It really does. And then the millions of flyers I've been handing out. Yes, and we will be handing a bunch of those out at Claws on Friday. So if you want to come out to that. You can see this huge lineup that's happening the day after. Yeah. So you can spend two days in a drunken days. Yep. And then <laughs> I will also be at Macabre Dave's birthday at uh, Mike's Love of Music with a bunch of flyers and tickets for sale there. So if you could be there. Now, be where can there. people buy tickets for this? Because I know they've been on sale now for a couple months. Yeah, they've been on sale for a couple months. Though The problem that I had with... Uh, the thing is that I didn't want to make bands sell tickets. Right. Pre-sale suck. Yeah, they really know, do. I mean, because I didn't know what I had to do. I would have to charge them a little bit, which I didn't want to charge. I wasn't going to charge much. I was really thinking maybe 20 bucks for the 10 tickets to help cover the, the cover for it, and then that was your pay, mm -hmm. you know, $80. Or if you needed more, it would have been another $20. If you sold 20 tickets, you'd make 160 bucks or like that. It was not really put – I didn't want to put bands into that position because, you know, I'm in a band, and once you hear, oh, you got to sell tickets, it's like, oh. Fuck you, you know, I don't want to do that. I mean, we had a, a guy, a promoter. You're an honest Louis. man, Tony. Well, I mean, yeah, <laughs> depending on the show, you know, I mean, if it's, <laughs> if it's a, guys. <laughs> hey, don't worry, I've headbutt the mic plenty of times it's on It's more stage. like my ear, <laughs> kind of, <laughs> But yeah, no, I had this guy in St. Louis, uh, my buddy said, hey, you guys would like to play down here, ch ch talk to this dude, he's trying to put together our fest. So I hit him up. He's like, yeah, can you sell tickets? I'm like, dude, I'm five hours away. Who am I going to sell yeah. them to? Yeah, no one's going <laughs> to drive five hours to see me. <laughs> I, I'm, I mean, dude, I'm not, I'm not, I mean, uh, I would like to think so. But, <laughs> 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 but yeah, so, <laughs> but definitely. Um, what are you leaving out, Tony? <laughs> you need a breather? <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and play a couple of these bands that are playing on Saturday. Uh, choose your first two. Uh, the first one we're going to start with will be Panzer. Um, Not your own band? You don't want to put En Mas out there? No, 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 no. <laughs> I, I, I mean, that's why I, that's, I, that's what a lot of people are like, oh, your own band's on it. And that's why I don't want to be like, oh, we're playing the... the douche <laughs> that's why we're, we're playing like second to last. I mean... Uh, we don't want to, uh, I didn't want to make everybody like, oh, you put your band in the sweet spot and this and this. Because it's like, no, that's not what it's about. <laughs> it's just, let's do it. <laughs> All but right. Yeah, uh, Panzer, and then we're going to go with, uh, which is their second song off their demo. I, they, I, they you don't, don't, have, a you don't have a song. No, don't All have right. a song name. So, so if you hear it live, yes. and scream then, it out. <laughs> and then the second one will be Madness on the Mountaintop. They're the band from Akron, Ohio. Uh, and their song name is Piles of Dead Sluts. Jeez. So you're going to go from straight thrashy stuff to... To, to, to brutal to piles in your of face. dead sluts. Yeah, to Piles of Dead Sluts. All right. <laughs> well, yeah. Right. 
You're listening to The Metal Experience. Only on Slam Internet Radio. Wow, Dave, what a sound difference that was all of a sudden in my ears. My bad. Yeah, was your bad. So uh, that was three songs, if you were counting, because uh, Tony just decided to be ambitious and be like, hey, I'm throwing in a third one. Third Here you one. go. Forgot so, the pause button, but hey. Oh, don't admit it. Come yeah, on, you just one. threw it in there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that third one was from uh, the other scave. Uh, hold on, let me see what was it? Oh, there you go. Allies and Depravity. And then be, the uh, other two bands besides that? Was uh, the Panzer first, the first one. one? Was Panzer. And then the second one was Madness on the Mountaintop out of Akron, Ohio. With the song Piles the song. of Dead Sluts. Yes. Piles of Dead Sluts. We're going to try this really fast just to announce it, but our phone lines are open with the phone number of 773 657 3341. So if you want to call and talk to Tony or us or just to say hi or, ring or have, ring, 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 have or questions Dave, or, or rip on Dave with us when he's talking, it's okay. Uh, we encourage it. So it's 773-657-3341 and cross our fingers that this works because, <laughs> you know, I don't know. I just feel like I'm talking half the time. So anyway, all these bands that are on the show on Saturday. Do they all have Facebooks that people are able to look them all up? Yes, I'm positive all of them do because I was just on each one of them posting on there that I was going to be on here tonight. Nice. <laughs> and for next year, are you actually considering creating a Facebook page dedicated to just doing this show and putting it together? Uh, maybe, uh, maybe I'll just call it the Halloween Thrash Death Fest and just be like... You're the Illinois one, Thrash one. Death Fest Halloween show. Yeah, man. You know, That'd be, be awesome. Keep it going, you know. I really would like to keep doing this uh, uh, and try to keep it making it bigger. Because I guess uh, CIM is now done, from what my understanding C-I-M. is. Central yeah. Illinois Metal Fest. Oh yeah, my brother went to the last one down yeah. there this year. It's kind of crazy how I that fell apart. Also heard they said that last year too, but <laughs> I don't know. I I knew my brother went down there and he said it was crazy. And then they announced during it that it was the last one. I'm yeah. like, uh, and now he's just like, okay, I'm going to Maryland Death Fest. I'm yeah, like, Maryland you... Death Fest is the new one. I guess it's a four deer and there's a bunch of killer. For bands forty like that. bucks though is not bad. No, no, oh, no. Forty bucks. Forty a day. bucks. Yeah, a day. Per day is what that kid blew on it. What an idiot! Yeah, no, but it's gonna be a <laughs> plus hotel show. and everything else. Driving that kid's not Maryland. thinking. How's my brother got money for that shit? Oh, but hey, that's a, gonna be a killer show. I well, wish for I who got announced it. for him? Yeah, <laughs> he's probably jerking off right now, going, "Oh, four Angel or somebody <laughs> just got announced again." <laughs> Whatever. Oh yeah. All right, Dave. You have nice things to say today. Good evening to the drug dealer of the house, please. Let's hear it from the soundboard. You didn't even give a re- retort when I said that. It's like you're just... I'm just getting ready for my segment. Just pulling up my stuff. <laughs> totally sound all professional stuff. tonight, Dave. Ooh. Anyway, uh, hardcore band uh, Casting Curses streaming their new song, My Favorite Abortion. Hold on. Say that band name again because I don't know what you said. Casting Curses. Casting curses. Okay, because yeah. originally it sounded like cursing cats or something. No, no, no. Casting curses. Okay. Uh, I don't know the band too well. Uh, the song title just sounded funny. It's called My Favorite Abortion. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. And, uh, oh, yeah. Last week, um, Texas in July, their new album dropped. Uh, if you're a fan of theirs, go check it out. If you're not a fan. Self-titled album. Yep. Amazing. So I've heard it. So I've heard from only one person. It's pretty good. So I guess it's pretty good. Um, who was that one person? Morgan. Me. Just now. <laughs> I heard from Morgan just now that she said it was pretty good. Yeah, like her opinion matters. Um, moving Boom. on. The ditch. Fat, Fat Records announces the new compilation, Fat Music for Fat People, Volume Two, <laughs> compilation. Volume I sh- Two. I should probably buy. Who was on one. Volume One? I'm, I'm surprised they're not on volume like 43. There's a lot of obese people in the United that States. That started way back, <laughs> way like I ate 10 one years ago. Two. Mm-hmm. Okay, so here's uh, here's who's on the the new one. Uh, Teenage Bottle Rocket, Useless ID, Snuff, The Swingin' Utters, Tony Sly, No Effects, uh, The Real Mackenzies, Old Man Malarkey, Cobra Skulls, and Joey Cape. Not bad. I knew 50% of those bands. <laughs> so pretty much everyone I expected to be on a punkorama. Yeah, Punkarama CDs. Jesus. Yeah. There's way back. Um, All right, so who's on two? That that was on two. I was reading I two. I thought you said one. No, I said two. Well, I meant two if I said one. Ah, well. Who was on one? I don't know. Let me look it up. 
<laughs> what else did you have, Dave? Come on. Well, you wanted me to... Okay. Do you want me to do the news or you want me to look shit up? I don't news. Do, I don't care about that other crap. <clears throat> Just do news, Dave. Come on. Anyway. <laughs> Uh, I, didn't, on, I, I didn't get Dave. to talk about this last week because uh, it just happened. It happened on Wednesday, not a Tuesday. Uh, one of the members of Pussy Riot was freed from prison. So did, in Russia, yeah, nice. Uh, so I think I did see that on the news. Freed from Russia. Yeah. So this is pretty cool that uh, one of, one of them is free and two more are still in prison. That really sucks. So <laughs> hopefully they can get out. See you later, suckers. Oh, I am going free to free riot pussy. Uh, Joe Hers oh, from Ocean Walker, I am going to slam it's tonight Ritz. for me. What? What? Ritz. Joe Ritz? What? I thought it was. The H is silent. Oh, whatever. Joe from Ocean Walker, I'm calling you out for making me believe for a whole day in searching the internet that Fred Durst died by getting hit by a drunk driver. Jesus. <laughs> I hate you for me wasting like two hours of my life trying to find the story. You spent two hours? Yes, yeah, somebody think. claimed they saw it on CNN. I spent two hours <laughs> trying to locate all this news Same and I couldn't Bill find Cosby it. And Morgan Freeman. Yeah, but... <laughs> I mean, why didn't I, you just not look it up? Because I believed it like a stupid person. So, Joe, next time I see you, I'm slapping you in the face and I'm slapping you in the balls. The five, it's the, the face high five. The face off? Fa- face palm. High five your face. Face palm. Oh, Luca calls it face off. And then he just hits me in the face. True. <laughs> oh, and He's uh, like face off and yeah. It to, hurts. to clear something up, Luco, I know there's the, there's been a lot of the you no know, fat. There's only been one, uh, two albums called Fat Music for Fat People. Volume one was back in 1994, and volume two just came out now. Well, they've that's had a bunch. A they've huge had a year difference. They've had a lot of different ones, just not called that though. There's Survival of the Fattest, Physical Fatness, uh, Life in the Fat Lane, <laughs> Live Fat Life Die Young. Life in the Fat Lane's probably my favorite. <laughs> Uncontrollable Flat Chew Lynch, Fat Chew Lynch. What? Harder, fatter, and louder. Harder, harder fatter, fatter, louder. louder. <laughs> that's that's my favorite. That would probably end up being a Steel Panther like CD me. one day. I'm harder, fatter, and louder. <laughs> 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 and then I know it's not music news, but did anybody else see that astronaut free fall from space? Yeah, that no, was pretty that cool. Was awesome. That was crazy. <laughs> I'd love to make a music video just with that footage. <laughs> Imagine going <laughs> s- over 700 miles an hour. I know, and he's doing flips and shit. Like, <laughs> Well, I think those spins weren't controlled. He was like trying to control it and then eventually oh, really? was able to Oh, really? I yeah. seriously thought that was really him. I'm like, oh, look at him go. He's flipping again. That's what I oh. thought at first, but then I saw like the whole thing. And, it's like uh, he definitely went to a circus for that. <laughs> and he's probably yeah. just like, oh, shit, oh, shit, oh, shit. Yeah, that's what I would have been like. Holy shit, holy shit, holy shit. I wonder how many times he puked in his helmet. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just, I just want to know like if you ever like thought like if my parachute opens i'm gonna die right now <laughs> oh my god it's crazy he lands on his feet like like, yeah, like it was yeah. nothing, nothing. nothing. Yeah. like it was nothing it's like no, oh I hey got... i just came from space guys a couple Ooh, guys i work with they go skydiving all the time my one buddy's got his uh, license and they've been trying to get me out and i went the one time to go and i show up we had a uh, lunch before we went and they had me step on the scale and I was two pounds over the weight limit. Oh. <laughs> Should not eat lunch? <laughs> I was like, oh, holy shit. Let They're me like, go take a crap yeah, really quick. The weight limit's, that's, exa- I was, that's exactly what I said. I was like, I was like, can you point me to your washroom? <laughs> Wait, I'll go puke up like, lunch. I'll go get rid of this right away. Well, I'm not, I wasn't going to puke. I was more going to poo it out. Oh. Wait, there's a weight limit? <laughs> yeah. Uh, I mean, you got to dive down with someone. <laughs> Well, I, I mean, know. they throw cars out of the airplane with exactly. parachutes. So you think they'd what? Like, where where do cars come out of? Have you what? ever seen the army? <laughs> they throw Humvees out of those things, man. What? <laughs> Supplies, yeah, tons huge. of stuff. I've man. never seen cars. I've seen like what packages? Yeah. And, 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 and those cars. Packages are cars. The packages what? are cars. Yeah, but so. they're like this big, unless they're like a transformer. <laughs> they what? Okay, uh, sorry guys, I'm not in with the. The army endorses yeah. transformers now. Yes. So how long did it take them from space to? I think it was a- like four. No, no, it was a four and a half minute free fall, which is ridiculously long. From <laughs> space? Yeah. Four uh, and a half minutes. That's amazing. It was like I don't know from all along, but the free fall is what's the craziest because uh, I think when you skydive, it's you're only like minute tops free fall. Oh my if, god. I mean, if that, I think. So I mean, I really don't know. I mean. Uh. Uh, if I'd be scared. I'm not going to ever do that. No? No. Oh, never going to parachute from you space? No. Well, imagine <laughs> that. Like, 10 years from now, 
That's the thing. They're like, oh, you, you jump out of a plane? <laughs> I jump out of an astronaut suit. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Okay, dude. dude Parachuting's like, not cool totally anymore. Rattle. <laughs> <laughs> you know, just imagine how it's going to go. People are going to be like, yeah. Yeah, right? Oh, okay, Grandpa. <laughs> oh, God. Let's take this into outer space, bitches. <laughs> yeah. Actually, I, I wouldn't mind seeing, like, pushing Josh out of a plane from outer space. Oh, oh my that God. He wouldn't would, happen. He would be, he would hit the ground in less than a minute. Yeah. It'd be like Buzz Lightyear. It'd be a giant infinity boulder. And beyond. All right. So, <laughs> getting off this topic of this awesome yeah, astronaut. I, I, I only have two more things to cover anyway. Oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was a really... Apparently, oh, okay. really slow news week. All right. Sort of. Uh, Bad Brains reveal the new artwork for their album, Into the Future, and it looks so 70s, it's not even funny. <coughs> 70s. Ha, ha, ha. It, it, bushes. It, well, no, there's a... Is that meant to be funny, Dave? No, it's, no. it's, it's, it's ridiculously tacky, because it, it just has their, their name and logo, the lightning bolt. Then it's a tiger on a planet that looks like Saturn in space. <laughs> nice. Okay. Very... Drug induced, I'm sure. Well, post it on the metal experience wall so all the fans can look I'm at not it. Not on Facebook. Well, <laughs> that's your your that's uh, my own problem. Your loss, yes. Yeah, you got to embrace the face. Nah, I, embrace I, the I'm face, Dave. I've got your hard nipples tagged from last week, waiting to put a name to the guy. <laughs> just tag, just tag Luca. No, I tagged your hard nipples, your random havoc shirt underneath, and Duck's jersey. Quack. So awesome. she tagged both nipples separately. Yeah, hard Sweet. nipple, hard nipple. So add yourself back on, and I'm tagging you. <laughs> no, one. I'm good. Hard nipple too. <laughs> anyway, right, your last, last announcement. Last thing, uh, Astley dying for the new uh, song clip for the uh, for the new song Overcome. I don't oh. know why they're not just doing the whole song, but why I don't know not? either. But oh, Miss May I has a new video out. What? Awesome. Just saying. And so does Between the Buried and Me. Okay, so anyway. Thanks, Dave. Back to Tony. Hey, Tony. Hello. So Hello. we wanted. Hello well, there. you wanted to um, set the record straight uh, about the ILDM. Yeah. The whole You're not a biker gang, right? No. What? No, we're a bunch. I of totally guys. thought you were a bunch of bikers. No, we're nah, totally I'm kidding. Not. I knew what you were. But <laughs> I drive a cube. <laughs> I can't fit my base equipment on the back of a bike. So. Explain why you guys have had this uh, misjudgment of you guys and what you guys really are about and well, how you can become a part of this crew if it's not exclusive. <laughs> oh, it's not exclusive. It's open up to women, men. I mean, everybody. I mean, Children. No, Five-year-olds. <laughs> uh, it's 18 plus, but in Illinois, we like them to be over 21 because we're going into bars. We don't want to have no... No thing that, oh, this kid's under here drinking, underage. I mean, you can hang around at 18, but 21 is when you can actually start prospecting. Um, but what we're about, it's more just putting on shows and supporting the underground scene. Uh, it, you're, not, but you, you're not mandatory to go out and ride bikes and do stupid shit. You just go out to shows. If that's what you like to do and you want to hang around with like-minded people who like to go see metal and... Do stuff and, and do up. stuff <laughs> and do stuff. Yeah. No, m the majority is of us are. Is there initiation to this? No, I mean <laughs> the initiation is mostly just coming out and meeting people and going to the shows and hanging out. I mean, there's nothing to it. We uh, have every year we have uh, an annual gathering. Uh, earlier this year, in, uh, it was in uh, St. Paul, Minnesota, which we played. It's better than ju the Juggalos. Yeah. Better than the meeting of the Juggalos, <laughs> or whatever it's called. Yeah, I don't know. It's really a lot know. better. But we do it every year. You also have, uh, we also do a lot of uh, fundraiser stuff. Uh, on November 16th, we have our Toys for Top fundraiser out in Freeport, Illinois. Uh, it's the 7th Annual LDM Thanksgiving Bash. Uh, we've been doing it for a little while. But with a lot of it, it helps out with uh, like band promotion. You have, we have chapters all over the United States in, in a lot of different countries, Australia, Germany, and a bunch of, oh, wow, the police. That was bright. Sorry about yeah. that, guys. El Diablo's over there. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, yeah, no, there's, uh, there's uh, uh, <laughs> chapters in a lot of countries throughout the United States. And mostly it's about is just promoting local metal in your area, supporting your local scene. Without your local scene, you won't have a national scene, you know, or at least a national scene with good music. You know, I mean, everything's uh, processed and made now right. in the studio. So, I mean, actual good music, you know, that's how it is. It's funny because a lot of countries say a lot of good metal comes out of America. But we're so, like, try to, like, find, oh, well, you're not death metal. You're this metal. You're that metal. You're this metal. And it's like, who cares? Let's just play some metal. <laughs> music is music, right? Yeah, music's music. 
Now, do you guys have a Facebook page for this, too, that people can go and find you? And yeah, uh, there is the NYDM Chicago chapter page that you can like, and uh, we post our events on there that we do. Uh, but the majority of it is just putting shows together, and that's what we do. Uh, I book out of the end zone in Aurora. Uh, we also, we're going to be booking a show coming up at Yodi here in December sometime. i got to still work it out with Jimmy. Uh, we're going to try to do a fundraiser for one of our guys who are... Uh, who's come down ill and all that and is having trouble pay his uh, hospital bills. So we're going to try to get down and help him out with that. And then, uh, but we go all over, you know. I mean, we try to support everybody and be there. I mean, especially here in Chicago. How many people right now are part of your organization? Uh, Chicago, right now in Chicago, we got about seven, eight of us. Uh, half are on the north side and the other half are like southwest side. So uh, some come out to different shows that they can and, a lot of us have been tight on money and been working our asses off, right. so <laughs> it's hard out there for everyone. But, I mean, we make it out when we can, and we definitely try to come out and support the local scene, and that, at least that's what I do. All right. Well, a little bit after hearing on that, uh, how about we play a few more of these bands that are on Saturday's lineup here and definitely. do another three songs. Oh, this next one is called Stuck in the Chamber from Hammer Fight. They're out of New Jersey. These guys are awesome. And a bunch of cool dudes too, man. I can't wait to see them, man. Uh, but yeah, all you got. And then after that, we're going to do uh, In Me I Trust. That's from uh, my band on Moss. And then we'll go uh, Chaos Unfold from Burial Ritual. They're out of the Wisconsin area. Sweet. <laughs> Let's go, 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 let's go
listening to The Metal Experience. Only on Slam Internet Radio. And we are back once again sitting here with Tony from Enmas and ILDM. And he just played three more bands that are appearing on the first annual Illinois Death and Thrash Fest happening at Bada Brew on this Saturday. Saturday. Oh, yeah. So who are those bands again? Uh, the first one was Hammer Fight called Stuck in the Chamber. Those guys are really ridiculous. They're out of, uh, I think, Atlantic City, New Jersey. So they're going to come out here and show us what New Jersey's all about. Sweet. <laughs> uh, second one was in me. I trust from um, my band, uh, En Masse. And, uh, en Masse. I keep calling it En Masse. That works, too. I mean, okay. they both both ways work. It's just uh, I just don't want to sound stupid. It. No, I just, <laughs> Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, <laughs> we've thanks. had we've had some very very interesting ways of hearing how that uh, <laughs> how, how how people say it and Massey and Mass. <laughs> and yeah. Mass. yeah, a lot of times. And next, and Massey. Yeah. And uh, we were uh, El Massey up on a on a on a board up nice. in uh, Minneapolis, <laughs> which I was like now featuring El Massey. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, and then uh, the final one was uh, Chaos Unfold from Burial Ritual out of Wisconsin. So, yeah. Exciting. So yeah. there's three out-of-state bands? Yes. Three out-of-state, and then, uh, well, Peoria, that's a couple hours away. So. I mean, that's Almost a drive, out of state. Yeah. yeah, I mean, two. Uh, it's about two hours, three hours. I mean, in Joliet, it's not as bad. but Right. So right. again, for those that want to call, it's seven seven three six five seven three three four one. Yeah, tell, tell, tell come us on, how much phone lines. I suck. <laughs> come on, it's okay. Don't be afraid. Don't I know your shy. hands on the phone. You need me to say the numbers again, so I will just <laughs> press them as I say them. Seven seven three six five seven three three four one. Mm. And you have that memorized. And I have it memorized because I type it and see it every single day of my life. <laughs> so. I don't know. I'm good at memorization, bad at pronunciation. <laughs> pronunciation. <laughs> see, see? Pronunciation. Oh, my God. You're killing me. Pronunciation. Pronunciation. It's okay. Pr- pronunciation. <laughs> Whatever. You got to pronunciate pronunciation. It's okay. I went to college. <laughs> <laughs> you graduated college. Did you? Yeah. Yeah. I, I, Sad I had but true. I had to withdraw. Got too expensive. Well, we won't talk about the depressing times, <laughs> Tony. Well, I was going to the Art Institute over there in Schaumburg for oh, a while. Oh, jeez. I mean, I was not, it's not like I was failing. I was getting like a 3.7 GPA. I so. feel like that school is a rip-off school. Yeah, me too. It's <laughs> too exclusive for the setup that they got well, there. I mean, it was kind of like, it was starting to get a little ridiculous over there, you know, yeah. for me. Because... Uh, me, I was they all, make your schedule for you. Well, and and like, that's what killed me because yeah. I live all the way out in Aurora and Schaumburg is about an hour cruise for me. Right. And I told him I can't come for one class a day. It's a two hour ride home, there and back for an hour and a half class. It's I mean, retarded. Stack me up on, give me five classes in one day and five classes on another day. And then boom, they're like, oh, well, they, and it showed up. And I'm like, I can't do that. And yeah. They're like, oh, well, it'll change and didn't. And then. I didn't withdraw from the class quick enough, so then I had to pay for the class when I withdrew from it, oh. and then it happened again the following semester, and I was like, you know what? Now I'm like ten grand in debt, and then Fuck I sit you here. Oh, guys. college! Yeah. So You're so like, complicated. So now I'm like, you know, I never thought I'd say going to college was a bad thing for me. <laughs> it's okay. You're doing a lot now with your life. Oh yeah, no. I mean, and that's what kind of realized going there is that, uh, especially when I was going out, they they introduced me to a lot of people who. Uh, like when we were going to the studios and stuff, and they're like, I can't believe you guys are actually paying to go to school for this. We used to just go get internships and learn it for free. <laughs> and I'm like, well, all right. I mean, I'm already doing half the stuff that they're teaching me here. So, I mean, I started doing that. I am going to go to the to the community college out by me because uh, they do have an audio program there that's like just under three grand. I'll bet you is that. In Aurora, uh, at Wabonzi Community College. Oh, okay. And it's like just under three grand. You get your certificate in audio sound, and there that is just as good, almost as good. I mean, it's good to have the name, but if you're really going to pay for it, I mean, Columbia College. I mean, right. that's really what you're paying for is the name. Well, you also uh, just got a business license, did you not? Yes, I got uh, my BTP Entertainment slash Brutal Tunes Productions. Yes, all congratulations. Actually legitimate. What does that give you? What does that mean you can do for people? It I means, mean, put yourself out there. All it really Sell means yourself, is that, Tony. All it really means is I got to pay a lot of taxes now. 
<laughs> but nice. no, I mean, I can. Uh, I am now a job creator, so I don't feel like I'm part of one of the one percent, though. I'm still poor. Oh. <laughs> But no. Uh, well, how can we make you not be poor? Well, I, mean, I mean, what does this do, entitle you to do? I do live sound. I mean, it's a lot of the stuff that I've been doing already, but now it's just uh, completely legit. So live taxes. sound means what? It's not like making barn animal noises. I can show. Me. Yeah, I can show up and do that for you <laughs> if you like. If you're gonna pay me enough, I'll do that. Uh, but no, I show up. I have all my own PA. I can show up, do live bands, DJs, uh, whatever you really need. I have uh, mics for drums, guitars. Everything, and then uh, I also do uh, promotions. I uh, do band management. Uh, we're gonna start selling uh, T-shirts, body jewelry, uh, rings, uh, CDs. You are taking on everything and anything Pretty you can much. get your hands. Oh on. yeah, anything, any door, no doors closed to me. Uh, even from there to uh, doing uh, stage construction to building studios. Nice. So if you need to get a stage built, I mean, I have guys. We can come build up a stage for you for a festival, or we can also uh, build you a studio in your house and make it a nice professional studio, or wherever you like. I mean, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> Sounds like you got it made. Yeah, so I mean, well, it's we're still in the beginning stages of it. I'm still trying to work out and see, figure things, how we're going. This is the first big show is for my company, so it's kind of like a coming out party for that, too. So it's going to be a little cool thing. What is the company called for people um, to find you, websites, anything I'm like on that? Facebook with both BTP Entertainment and Brutal Tunes Productions. BTP Entertainment does all genres. Brutal Tunes Productions mostly sticks to the metal and stuff like that. But BTP Entertainment, I was sitting there thinking, I was like, because really what it stemmed from was Looney Tunes Productions. And it was going to That be, would explain the... Yeah. Is it Frank from Donnie Darko? It almost looks like Frank Donnie Darko. Almost, funny. yeah. Uh, yeah. And that's where we were going to go with that. It, and then uh, it's spelled the same way. So I was like, what could I change oh, wait, it to? I'm wrong. It's just a little. <laughs> I think I saw this somewhere <laughs> else. It's okay. Yeah, no, it's, it's, anyway. it's, it's a bunny. Getting shot it's in the bunny. face. Getting shot in the face. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, no but Donnie yeah, no. Darko, just so more then, violence. So I wanted to go from there. I was like, all right, you know, I'll change it. Brutal Tunes Productions. But then I didn't want to limit myself to one genre. So then that's where BTP Entertainment came from. And that's how I also I stem it off from because it looks good for on the construction side and, you know, the band management and stuff like that. I mean, Brutal Tunes is going to be more like an independent. I mean, we're going to start doing recording and uh I want to try to work as kind of like an independent label, but not an independent label. You know, I can record you. I can help promote your band. I can do band management. But, yeah, you know. <laughs> gotcha. I don't want to ask rate bands. I really want to <laughs> help them out. And for your company and everything you got going on besides this show on Saturday, uh, what else do you have going on with those? I got a show coming up in November and January. Uh, I'm still building up the show right now. I am still looking for bands. So how can they get a hold of you if they're interested in uh, playing? You can find me on and Facebook. the date that you're looking for? Uh, November 14th is the one. So and it's a then, Wednesday night. And then the other one's in January. Uh, one band's coming out. The November 14th uh, band from uh, Wisconsin's coming out. And uh, and then in January, I want to say it's 15th that we, we agreed on. Because this is still in the beginning. Probably. Right, right. There's not, uh, they're coming from Indiana. So uh, I just need like three local acts to open up for the uh, to open up and play around them. To, so uh, what is show. the email one more time for people? Uh, my people? email address is btpentertainment at gmail dot com. You can also even call me at six three zero six three one seven two six five. If I don't answer, just leave a message. Uh, I do have business cards. And those and are metal shows that you're putting together? Yeah, I do metal. That I woman mean, needs to put clothes on. <laughs> <laughs> it's fun doing, oh, that. She's yeah, doing a show here, huh? In the window. <laughs> but yeah, um, no, I mean, we're j uh, really what I want to do is just try to help out underground bands, you know. Uh, there's, there's not a lot of stuff that are helping out metal acts right now and trying to keep them at, at the... At the, the that the small stage, really. I mean, there's right. still a scene there. And that's what we're trying to do is keep it all. And every promoter who's on this show is all about it, you know, about trying to keep the the local scene alive. I mean, without your local scene, you don't have a scene. Mm -hmm. It's just what it is. And what does Enmas have coming up? Oh, yeah, we got, we're, we got this show. We're playing November 2nd in Green Bay. Uh, yeah. That's a drive? 
<laughs> Not really. Uh, I was, I'm still debating on whether showing up in my Bears jersey. I also saw this cool why, Bears. Why wouldn't you? You, you got to bring should. Chicago with you. I know, but I don't want to. I don't want to uh, scarce out the crowd. But because it was funny, my dad was on tour with uh, his band, uh, Earth and Grave, yeah. and they were down in uh, Texas or something. And the Sox were playing the Texans. And their singer is a Sox fan, and the White Sox like demolished them or something like that. <laughs> and so their singer goes on, he's like, "So what about them uh, White Sox?" And everybody was like, "Fuck you, dude!" <laughs> this, this, this. And then the room like cleared out on them. <laughs> oh. <laughs> but it's funny. But I love the rivalry thing. My wife's a Green Bay Packers fan for some reason, and I <laughs> married her still. Oh, uh, but I love her to death. She's awesome. Uh, but yeah, but at Walmart they have this Bears onesie. It's just. <laughs> It's not like for the grown footy. people. Yeah, for gro- for like grown <laughs> oh my people, God. but it doesn't have the footies on them. So it's just one thing, and I was like, that would be fun to wear on stage oh, in Green Bay. You might get beer beer thrown at you or something, but it would be worth. As it. As long as it makes it in my mouth, it's fine. I don't <laughs> think they'll intend to aim for your mouth. <laughs> well, I hope so. I mean, what do, what do the bottoms look like? They're just it's just like just uh, cut off like, like pants. Yeah, pants. So it's just pants in yeah. what color? It's a bear's blue with orange Chicago Bears seas all over Shit. it. Shit. I, just I was going to say. Just wear that in my vest. My great idea <laughs> for you would be to wear a Bears jersey or a shirt underneath your shirt. And when you're done playing, rip it off and be like, I've been a Bears fan all yeah, along. Right, right, right. You sat through me, motherfucker. Mess around, wear my white screen Bears shirt, just rip it off. <laughs> 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 Bears. <laughs> And besides the Green Bay show, what else do you guys have? Uh, I think we got something in the works for January at Mojo's. I really don't know too many details on that yet. Opening for someone? No, I don't know. I think it's supposed to be the, it's a rented out birthday party type deal. I don't know. They wanted us to play. So, so. cake is going to be there? Maybe. I really don't know a lot of the details. My singer is the one who's uh, setting that one all up. So. And you're still booking at the end zone? Yes. So... Anything else coming up for anybody that wants to put together shows? How can they get a hold of you for that? Uh, hit me up, Facebook. Uh, I am friends with a lot of people. I know I'm friends with you guys, so look at me through there. Uh, my e- email address at btpentertainment at gmail.com. And my, my phone number, you know. Uh, you can also hit up Brutal Tunes Productions on Facebook and BTP Entertainment on Facebook. I have pages for the both of those. Uh, but, yeah, if you want to put on a show there, uh, it's a very reasonable price, and uh, yeah, all my bands have gotten paid in at least some way or whatsoever. So, we're doing things a little differently tonight, just because uh, Tony brought so much music that uh, Luco's not doing his Aww. unsigned band pick of the week, unfortunately, <laughs> because we felt, hey, we have twelve unsigned bands getting played tonight. Three of them are for out of state, so we figured it's featuring a whole lineup tonight. There and you go. It's awesome. Uh, saved us a lot of hassle to be like, oh, we got to pick someone. <laughs> it's okay, because we got a lot of awesome music from people. So oh, definitely. We're going to play another three more songs from the music that you brought. Yep. Uh, who are you going to play next? Oh, uh, This next one's from uh, Mass Mutilation. Uh, it's called Rend. These guys are awesome. Then after that, it's going to be uh, from The Eight Eyes Screaming, Boiling River of Blood, and then uh, from Altered Existence, The Yearning. All right. Yeah! 
Listening to the Metal Experience only on Slam Internet Radio, and we are back once again with the Metal Experience. Very disappointed that nobody is called in yet to our show. Sorry, you fuckers. Sorry if we're boring you. Um, yeah, your input would help if you called. Um, so we just heard three more songs from the lineup on Bada Brew Show this Saturday. Saturday? Yeah. And what were those songs called? Who were they by? Oh, yeah. The last one was The Yearning from Altered Existence. The very first one was uh, Ren from Mass Mutilation, wasn't it? Huh. 
And then the <laughs> middle Morgan one. Goes, yes. Yes, it, yes was. it was. Tony. And then. They oh. die screaming. Yes, they die screaming. What uh, was the song? Bowling River of Blood. There we go. Woo! We got through it. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, I'm a little stoned, so. <laughs> nice. <laughs> you didn't share the wealth? Ah, <laughs> son of a bitch. Maybe when we're done. And <laughs> <laughs> what, um, what's the rundown again for this show? Uh, ticket sales, time it starts, contest, c- prizes. How the, you want to dress up as everything, The whole shebang. Everything you got, Tony. All right. The show, October 20th. Doors are at 2.30. First bang at 3 p.m. $10 in advance, which I will be at Macabre Day's birthday party at Metal... Uh, Mike's Level Music. Mike's Level Music down there on Summit. Also, Wednesday, me and Rick That's from That's tomorrow. What? Yes, tomorrow I'll be at Bada Brew DJing with uh, Rick from What? And we're going to play a bunch of stuff from uh, the show and a bunch of other cool stuff. And I will be selling tickets there. So there will be areas for you to buy your pre-sale tickets. Um, we have raffles. We're raffling off tattoos and tickets to D's side. Uh, we have a costume contest. Based on? On what? Winning. Is winning, based on? Winning stuff. No. <laughs> no. How do you winning de- is based on winning stuff. How do you determine stuff? Based. the winners? Oh, by so people I yelling drunkenly at the, pe- at, the, at the stage. Yeah. So the more drunk and loud and obnoxious you are, the more somebody will win. All right. <laughs> it sounds like a party. And, again, the full lineup of all the bands playing. All right. You got Rain Inferno, Necrogression, Hammer Fight, Madness on the Mount Top, The Everscape, The Viscatorium, Mass Mutilation, En Masse, Burial Ritual, Altered Existence, They Die Screaming, and Panzer. And that is not in the necessary order that they're playing. So that's just everyone on the show. How does it get determined as to who plays when. I'm just curious. Uh, well, like, depending on uh, where people live, uh, that's how I kind of do it. Uh, sometimes if you live in that city, you will end up playing last. Uh, it, or, like, with, or you know, you got uh, who might draw more than the other. And that's how I kind of did it, because I wanted to keep, you know, throughout some people who I know would draw would be there for some of the other bands that are from out of state and that I know won't draw that well, so there's still people there to see them play also. So, I mean, we have a party bus that's going to be leaving my house also, too. It's 25 bucks to get on the bus there to the venue, back to my house in Aurora, and into the show for 25 bucks. So and That's not bad at all. And the party nope. bus, I think I read online, did you say it's full of liquor already? No, 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 no. no? It's bring your own booze. Oh, bring your own booze. Yes, that's what but it that's was. cool, too. So, I mean, when you're at the show all day and you want to sneak out and have a beer in the bus, man, you might be able to get away with it. Yeah, because <laughs> if you drink in the back of the parking lot at Bought a Brew, you end up like Audacity and not allowed back because oh, you're drinking yeah. in back. Yeah, you got to watch we out. We were definitely drinking in back with Audacity. <laughs> yeah, we didn't get kicked out, but the band isn't allowed back. Oh, really? Audacity? Yeah. Oh. Those well, they were guys. also They were having some issue with the sound guy, too. Oh, well, that can happen. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder what Schmitty's going to say then. Uh, it's okay. He <laughs> he'd just say fuck you. Yeah, and pretty move much. Smitty I mean, man, Smitty, Smitty. I love him. <laughs> um, and what else again does Enmas have coming up? And where can they find you? And you can find us on Facebook and Reverb Nation. Uh, El Mas El Mase. Yeah, El Mase. <laughs> We're uh, rough and tough, and yeah, no. <laughs> but yeah, no. You can check us out uh, on Reverb Nation. Uh, www.reverbnation.com slash on Moss, uh, which is E-N-M-A-S-S-E. And, uh, Two words. Yeah. You can uh, look up there. We have a lot of our shows posted up there. And we and have, you guys have your merch, too, up there? Yeah, we have uh, girls' tees. We have tour shirts. We have hats. We have bottle openers, keychains, freaking stuff. Freaking stuff. <laughs> I meant to ask you earlier, what was the, the craziest moment on your your tour? Me, oh, when we were driving from Kansas City, Missouri to Peoria, um, we uh, got stuck in this very bad storm, and the vocalist decided to get to, get to drink all night, and uh, we were arguing about the phone charger. <laughs> he wanted it, and I was using it for GPS, and it's in the middle of a storm, and yeah, it ruined our whole day <laughs> for a while. Okay. And I'm like, don't fucking talk to me, you asshole. This, this. And he's like, that. We made, we kissed and made up. And oh, <laughs> we played a killer set and we jammed out, man. But 
you know that's how it is, man. When you're little when love you're, in the back of the bus. Yeah, right. When you're when you're in your band and you're stuck in a van, it was three of us and my dog oh, in a van for a week, and we did like two thousand miles, six shows what, in a week. What would the dog do when you were in the shows? Oh, he he guarded the gear. <laughs> I took him out a bunch and walked him around and what, made sure. What kind he was of dog a, is it? My pit bull. Oh God! <laughs> yeah. No one's fucking with Fuck your boss. No, man. I think nobody's stealing my equipment, man. You got me crazy. Yo, go ahead, come in my car. <laughs> Who are some of the awesome bands that you were playing with on those tours? Oh, Decimation from Kansas City. Those guys were wicked. Uh, you have Gorgie from Kentucky. They were really cool. Uh, in uh, Akron, Ohio, man, just on the mountaintop. They are always a uh, blast to play with. Um, who else did we play with on that tour? Uh, Altered Existence of Peoria. They were fucking great. Oh, we also played with Helm Splitter down in Peoria. Those guys were really good, too. Uh and who else? I mean, uh, we had, oh, Double Barrel Blast Me out of Fort Wayne, Indiana. Double Barrel Blast yeah. Me? No, Blasphemy. Blasphemy. Yeah, oh. like it's Blasphemy. Gotcha. Those guys are really cool, like st- Stoner, Sludge, Doom, Metal. They have a real cool sound to them. I put them on a show in Aurora, too. Those are good guys also, man. They they come out and jam. So are we going to see all these people that you were on tour eventually playing out here? Yeah, hopefully. I want to I wanna talk about uh, trying to get Decimation out here definitely because those guys are killer. They are a very good band. I rock their CD almost every day. Nice. <laughs> so, yeah. All right. Dave? Dave? It's time for the local roundup. So it's one of those weekends because Halloween's coming up that uh, – because Halloween falls on a Wednesday that all these Halloween shows are happening this weekend and next weekend. So it's, it's crazy looking. So there's a lot going on that I'm going to read off. Maybe butcher some names. Maybe talk definitely, really fast. Definitely butcher Butchering some names. Butchering names is, a, is a happening. Um, so if I miss anything, if Tony wants to, if he ends up forgetting something and remembers it, can chime in and be like, hey. October you t- 20th. <laughs> Exactly. That's the only place you should be on October 20th, despite the 12 other shows that are going on on that date. Yeah. Um, so here we go. Announcements. Um, another hole in the wall is looking for bands for these following shows. So c- uh, contact Darlene at ExxonLive.com or another hole in the wall on Facebook if you're interested. Uh, Forevermore is a metalcore band, and they are looking to play on November 3rd. Wait, Forevermore? Forevermore. Why are you act like never? Are you thinking never more again? Ah, yes, yes, that's what I was thinking. I'm like, wait a second, what? Anyways, uh, November 8th. Oh, there's a phone call. Phone call. We got to answer this. Here we go. The very first one. Hello? 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 <laughs> Hi. Hi, who is uh, this? This is, uh, this is uh, Dr. Sodom. <laughs> Dr. Sodom from Eviscritorium? Yeah, this is Dr. Sodom from Eviscritorium. Well, how are you, and when are we going to be able to hear some music from you on a CD? Well, <laughs> well uh, we're going we're gonna to be playing uh, this show on the 20th, and then we got another one the 26th, and then after that we're going to take a break until the demo is done. Well, if you're announcing this show on the 26th, when, where, how much, and... How can I get to see it? Oh, uh, the 26th is going to be at the Yodi. How much? Couldn't tell you. <laughs> Maybe eight bucks. It's usually between six and eight dollars. Yeah, six and eight bucks at Yodi. It's going to be so. It's going to be some kind of amount of currency, like gold or something. <laughs> gold. <laughs> Give me your gold. Feces. Feces. Uh, gold. I got. I got a question for Tony though. Okay. My what is up? All right. All right, Tony. Yeah. <laughs> Who would win in a fight, dude? <laughs> Robocop? Oh, I saw that on the Facebook. Robocop or Terminator, man. Are you Terminator? Come on, dude. Seriously? I don't know. I really don't know. I would I mean, go that's with a Terminator, good one. hands down. I would think so, yeah. Dude. Terminator, dude. Uh, uh, I would I'll have be to. back? I'll be back. Man, that guy Come was on, I've never seen that movie. Right I know right it's right all back. Huh? Right after, right after Terminator drops his gun, dude, he's fucked. Robocop pulls it out of his leg, bro. Uh, well, you, he does have that. But, like, Terminator can get shot in the face, like, five times and still come at you. He can get shot in the oh. face like 20 times. <laughs> you, had, you need molten lava to destroy Terminator. But, but the Robocop, dude. <laughs> yeah, Robocop's <laughs> cool, man. He, he's a beast also. Actually, I wanted to dress as Robocop for my buddy because he, he dressed like me one year. 
showed up with uh with a ponytail and stuffed his his shirt and everything, Jeez. made him look fat. And uh, so I was gonna get him back and dress as RoboCop because he's a he's a police officer. Nice. And, and I was like, I'm like, yeah, I want to dress up as a, as RoboCop. I'm like, who are you supposed to be? You RoboCop? I'm like, no, I'm I'm a buddy. <laughs> <That's awesome. laughs> Just get a bunch of trash cans and some duct tape, dude. Anybody can be RoboCop. Yeah, there you go, trash cans and duct tape. Halloween. You guys are all going to be dressed up, right? Oh yeah, dude, my whole band's dressing up. Oh yeah, you guys dress up at every show, man. What are you talking about? <laughs> it's Halloween every show at the Viscutorium. Oh yeah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, though, you guys had a really killer set at Morbid Angel and Grave, dude. Oh, thanks, man. I appreciate it. Yeah, we fucking worked our asses off for that show. Yeah, man. It's uh, You could tell, definitely tell on stage, man. You guys fucking jammed. I'm dude. wondering who told you that you could not electrocute my brother on stage. So fucking dude that was on... <laughs> no, he didn't even work there. He was some guy that one of the tour managers or whatever. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe his name was Steve. He was a total cunt bag. <laughs> that fucking dude, he looked at our fucking, at our electric chair, and he goes, oh, uh, that, that's not going on the freaking stage. No way, no how, dude. You think Morbid Angel's going to break down their drum set just so you can put that shit up there? And we're like, of course not, dude. Right. It's not going people. where the drum set is. Well, hey, man, you can do it at, at bottom. So are you electrocuting my brother on Saturday? Uh, no, apparently he can't make it out, which is all good. What We're the fuck, video. kid? <laughs> I'm going to give him a beating when I get home. I'll well, see uh, what I can do, we, Dr. We will, kill, we will kill your brother. <laughs> Eventually. <laughs> Eventually. He will die. <laughs> Eventually he will fry. Well, at least I know the people murdering him. And it's for metal, so I'm okay Take with it. Take one for the cause. You have my blessing, Dr. Sodom. <laughs> yes. Operation. We will. Do you guys play that? <laughs> Do you guys play Operation? Dude, uh, try and stop me from playing Operation. <laughs> <laughs> I'll play with you guys, man. <laughs> Dude, you'll fucking lose, I promise. I probably would, man. You're a doctor. <laughs> I'm just so yeah, fat, man, who plays a, bass. I'm not what you call licensed. <laughs> oh, you know more than I. <laughs> uh, well, we will definitely be seeing you at the show on Saturday. We're very excited. And thanks for calling in. And thank you, Doctor Sodom, yes. for dialing right, you guys have a good the phone. One. You do the same, brother. I'll see you on Saturday. All right, peace out, bro. Later. Bagels, not boners. See ya. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so once again, another hole in the wall is looking for bands to play these dates. Uh, November 3rd with Forevermore, they're a metalcore band. November 8th with Blame Shift, Dive, and that's uh, Rock Hard Rock Bands. Rock uh, Hard Rock Rock Hard band. Rock Hard, hard Bands, yeah. Uh, November 11th with Boba Flex, that's a rock band. Uh, Dory Drive, that's a rock band for November 14th. December 6th with Psycho Stick. Nice. And December 9th with good. Via Sava so and Downstate, which and is stuff. another rock, hard rock band. Uh, two bands are needed to play a Halloween show with no pre-sales. And that's next Saturday, the 26th. So email Darlene at ExxonLive.com. So it's, they're looking for rock bands, punk bands, pop, indie, alternative, whatever. If you want to play, shoot them an email. Uh, Acidic Assault is looking to still play a show on Friday, this Friday. So if you know anything, hit them up. Miles from Exile still looking for a new band space. And for people looking for bands to join, Lords of a Drunken Pirate Crew still looking for a first mate keyboardist. I thought they found one. I don't know who they announced into their band, but it's not a keyboardist. So they still drummer. need a keyboardist. They found a drummer. Yes. They nice. found a drummer? They I've found heard. a drummer and they didn't even tell me? From what I've heard. Those sons of Lords bitches. of a Drunken Pirate Crew, you have found the treasure. Uh, <laughs> Gyar. Booty. Pirate booty. Gyar. Guitarists, if you want to be multi-talented and join a bunch of bands, Armored Assault and Hazard, who is also looking for a vocalist on top of a guitarist, and today's wreckage are looking for guitar players. Drummers... Mm. You can join these following bands, After the Spire, Polypatek, Strongman, Impale, A Tune for 1103, which is Luco and my band, who hey still yo. need a guitarist as well, The City of White, and Unsanctioned. 
Sean, the old drummer from Bloodstream Parade, is still looking to help bands record. So for a flat rate of $100 per song, you can record for him professionally in his home studio. He will work with you till you're happy. And he will also play drums with a small fee if you need a drummer to play. And uh, any questions, you can email him on Facebook. Go to Bloodstream Parade, find him, track him down. Uh, Skullfogger is a punk rock band from Chicago, still looking for people to donate money to help them out with their first... Uh, CD recording, so you can find them on Kickstarter if you can help them with a donation. And if you're a band and you're donating, they will include your sticker or anything else that you need help with for promotion in their CD release for their fans once they end up making it. You can look them up by the title, Skull Fogger, No Sink is Safe. I don't know what that means, but sounds awesome. Oh, I need to take a breath. Hold on. Hurry up. All right, here we go. The uh. show's... Starting with Thursday, October 18th at My Wicked Way in Racine, Wisconsin. It's $10 with a costume, $12 without. Starts at 6.30 p.m. Loose Ends, they're Kenosha Hardcore. No Regrets, they're Chicago Hardcore. Get Rad, Milwaukee Hardcore. Get Rad. Uh, Bent Life, Nebraska Hardcore. And Expire, which is Milwaukee Hardcore. Thursday at Quencher Saloon, 21 and up, $5, 8 p.m. Finding Z. Solemn Mint Walks, The Sweats, and Girl Detective. The Sweats? Uh-huh. Uh, Friday, October 19th, the show that Luca and I will be at, Claw's Rock or Restaurant. They're having their Rock Metal Nights hosted there. The Metal Night is Friday. It's 8.30 p.m., 17 and up, $5. It's going to be Mara, I Wish I, and Damnation. We will be passing out whatever we have left of Tons all. Tons of free shit. Exactly. So this is definitely an awesome. And how much is that that show? Five dollars. Isn't it cheaper with Five the canned good or Buster. something? They're not doing it this time. Oh. But it's still awesome turnouts. Usually, great people. Dave will be there. Maybe with a mohawk. Maybe with a gay hawk. Maybe well, it, holding it, a sign saying "free stuff" again. I'm always doing that. You're so I, good I, at it. Yeah, and but you I usually I, have it taped on your crotch, and I'm keeping you away from that. I wouldn't even usually. It's <laughs> all the time. All right. Uh, anyway, Friday at Dirty Nellie's, it's seven dollars twenty-one and up, nine p.m. Dirty Deeds, Blackened, and Judas Beast. Uh, on Friday at Live Wire Lounge, twenty-one and up, nine p.m. It's going to be Scientist, Taken by the Sun, and Disembodiment. Friday at Ye Old Town Inn, it's eight p.m. Six dollars twenty-one and up to see Unquiet Eddie. Dead Nation and Illusion's Fate. Quiet Eddie. <laughs> uh, Illusion's Fate's a good band. Friday at Mike's Love and Music, 21 and up, 9 p.m. It's $8. Wear a costume. Lords yeah. of a Drunken Pirate Crew, uh, Elbow Deep, and Nucleus. Saturday, yeah. of course, don't forget about the show that we've all been talking about all, all night. <laughs> all night, bitches. Uh, at Bada Brew. But if you can't make it, and if you live somewhere really far, you can go to these shows. Uh, Saturday... October 20th at Take 20 in Cherry Valley, Illinois. It's $5 with costumes, 7 without, all ages. Starts at 5 p.m. It's Beyond Thresholds, uh, Who We Are Tour. So they're playing here tonight uh, for that. And it's Vi Foley, Left for Dead, Mr. Dirty, Marquette, Joey Columbine, Reckless Redemption, and Sleaze. On Saturday at the Millennium Center in Rockford, it's $6 in advance, 8 at the door, all ages, 6 p.m., uh, Death Atrophy, Emerge, Audio Abduction, tra uh, Traverser, and Personify. Traverser? Traverser? Oh, that's how you pronounce that? I'm guessing. Uh, Traverser. Uh, I don't have a piece of paper in front of me. That you don't. Saturday at the Night Light, uh, Night Light Cafe, all ages, 6 p.m., $8. This time next fall, Oculus versus the Day and Fallen Angels. Saturday at Penny Road Pub, 6 p.m., all ages, $8. Uh, Ray's, Lever, Prudence's Hair, Dark Shepherd, and Occam's Razor. Saturday at Shooter's Bar and Grill in Indiana, it's 21 and up, $2, 8 p.m. First $2 show I've ever seen. $2, $2 show? $2. Nice. To see Threat Hello. Level, Eleventh Plague, Blind Devotion, and Pragmatic. Now, this is what really confused me, is apparently there are two venues in Indiana called The Warehouse. The first one is in Valparaiso, Indiana, which is at 7 p.m., 21 and up, $12 in advance. You can buy the tickets off local support, $15 at the door, $2 off if you're dressed like a monster but don't wear a mask. So it's Devil at My Doorstep, Dead Man's Hand, 
Dink, Hyperion, Free Agents, and Early April, and they're opening for Head PE. Nice. But then there's the warehouse in Laporte, Indiana, <laughs> which starts at 6 p.m. It's all ages, and it's three dollars. And you two dollar and three dollar show. It's like unheard of. Cheap shows in Indiana. Uh, Jake Shelton's birthday bash. It's the drummer of Deadlight Redemption. Hey, so happy Deadlight birthday, Redemption Jake. is playing. Happy birthday. Orion 9, No Shelter, Liberty and Ruins, and Mine Enemies Fall. Saturday, okay, this is the second show Saturday at Penny Road Pub. But don't fret, because the first one's all ages. The second one is 21 and up, and it starts at 10.45 p.m. What? <laughs> today's wreckage, depriving the masses, and universal product. Sunday, October 21st, The Game Emporium in Indiana, 1 p.m., all ages, $5 in advance off bands, 10 at the door, wear costumes for a chance to win prizes. There's a long lineup, so bear with me. It's King, bear with me. <laughs> King Corrupter, The Oppressor, No Life, History of Violence, A Flora and Fiona, uh, Abandon, Savor the Glimpse, Villains, Hopeless, We Who Overcome, Castigate, Devour the Hopeless, Ray Lazaric, Crucifixion, Middle Class Militia, Chin Up, Life Once Lived, Farewell December, Diamond Cutter, Verge of Insanity. Diamond Cutter? <laughs> nice. Do, do I want to know? Nope. Oh, God. Guardians of, uh, Guardians of Virtue and the Fine Constant. That's a long lineup. But it's going to be awesome. <laughs> Sunday. If Diamond Cutter is playing. Oh, my God. <laughs> Sunday at Reggie's Battle of the Band starts at 3 p.m. All ages, 10 in advance, 12 at the door. You can buy tickets off Limitless. One of the bands playing. That's the only one that sent me an invite, so I don't know who else is playing. And it wasn't on Reggie's website for Whoa. that. So I don't know. Sunday at the Boondocks in Springfield, 15 in advance, 20 at the door. It's 21 and up, 5 p.m. Thy Will Be Done, uh, Trumpet the Harlot, Grim, and then they're opening for Beyond Threshold, God Forbid, and Shadows Fall. At Double Door on Sunday, 7 p.m., $8, 21 and up. It's going to be Fistula, Drug Honky, Coffin Worm, and awesome. Cog. This is what I want to go to on Sunday at the exit. It's a night of sin. No cover, 21 and up, 9 p.m. It, there's going to be fire, burlesque, and domination, making the temperature rise. The devilets are uh, Stephanie B., Vicky Ventrella, and Lady Lenix. Sounds like fun. And that's, that's a. Are you sure it's not Lennox? It's Lennox, Lennox, I don't know. Lennox, sure. But uh, Fire Burlesque and Domination sounds like fun, and I don't have to pay for it. Monday, October 22nd at Cobra Lounge, 21 and up, $10, 7 p.m. Testimony, A Life Once Lived, uh, Cascade, Ken Mode, and Revocation. Whew. That was a lot, folks. But uh, next week will probably be even more brutal because <laughs> it's closer to Halloween. Oh, yeah. So thank you, Tony, for coming yeah. out here and helping promote the show. I also remember Wednesday I'll be at Bada Brew. They got dollar fifty bottles, and me and Rick are gonna be spinning some uh, good stuff. And you will be having tickets for sale. Tickets also for, for sale. Bada Brew show. So on come the on down. It's free to get in and uh, cheap beer and get your tickets. We will be there Saturday as sponsors, dressed up, having fun, drinking. It'll be awesome. And remember, it's. 12 bands for a great price. Yeah, 12 I mean, bands for $10. three of them were out of state, so. Yeah, 12 bands for $10 in advance, 15 at the door, so, yeah. So we still have two more songs to play that we're going to go out at the end of the night with. Um, so before we play those, next week, tune in. Same time, same place. Air Raid will be on with us. And, uh, again, our phone number for those who want to call in next week, because we're not going to be answering a phone now, because we're going to be playing music, obviously, um, it's 773-657-3341. Put it in your cell phones now. Save it as your speed dial. Put it, yeah, yeah on speed dial. I mean, you get to talk to some awesome people every Thanks, week. Thanks, Dr. So. Sodom. Dr. Sodom, thank you for calling in. Again, you have my blessing to murder my brother in the name of metal. <laughs> uh, murder. And uh, the last two songs of the night, who are All they? All right. Uh, Inspiration of Madness from Necrogression and then Excommunicated from Rain Inferno, the two headliners. Good night.